Hello guys, um, my name is Gavin Roberts and I'd like to welcome you to Business Statistics 2 in the summer 2021 semester. Um, first I'll just tell you a couple things about myself. I am an assistant professor of economics at Weber State University. They have us economists teach statistics because we use a lot of statistics in our work. Um, in particular, I used to be an energy analyst before I became a professor. And I use a lot of the stuff that I'm exactly the stuff that I'm going to teach you in this class. So I hope that helps motivate you because it was really helpful in my career. And especially for the second half of the class, most of what I did as an energy analyst studying crude oil and natural gas markets in the United States is stuff that I'm going to teach you in the second half of this semester. Um, I don't think you should be too worried. Usually at the end of the semester, students tell me that this class was not only um, less stressful than they thought it would be, but also that they learned a lot and it is really valuable stuff. And you can kind of see the power of the tools as we are working through them. Um, you may have noticed that our course has this SUS connected to it. That stands for sustainability. And that just means that I'm going to focus on issues related to sustainability, which includes environmental issues, but also like energy issues and economic issues, because Weaver State is pushing towards thinking more about sustainability as we should be. And um, it's not a limiting factor. It's something sustainability touches everything. Um, this course still is Quan 3610, so it still counts for all of your requirements. And I think it'll help because it also helps us focus our statistics that we're learning on certain issues. The main place of this will come up is later on in the semester, you're gonna to put together a project and you will have to pick a topic related to sustainability. I will point you to some resources to help you think about that and in particular data sets that you can use for that project that will be just inherently related to sustainability. But anyway, the purpose of this video is to show you the main resources you will need to succeed in this course. So nice to meet you. I'm gonna get rid of this screen so that you can see our Canvas page. And if you go to the home page, it'll just load the syllabus page because that is our home. And you'll see a funny little joke at the top here to make you smile before you get stressed out by the course. So the first thing you see is this a document. You can download this or whatever. It's the syllabus. Probably the most important stuff is right here. That is my contact information. So you can see, you can call me, although I'd prefer that you email me. It's more likely that you'll get a hold of me if you email me and I respond to emails pretty quickly. So that's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, office hours are gonna be by appointment because this is an online class. I'll make myself available as much as possible for those appointments. Tuesday, Wednesday, and some Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But even if you cannot meet me during those times, still reach out because I'm pretty much willing to meet with you at any time if only other times work for you. So I often meet students earlier than 8 a.m., later than 5 p.m., on the weekends, whatever. I'll figure out how to meet with you. So don't worry about making an appointment outside of those times. For the textbook, you need Business Statistics 2. Actually, you need the 14th edition. I don't really care whether you have the 13th or 14th edition of the book, but you do absolutely need access to WebAssign homework because that is the homework you're going to do for this class. That comes with the 14th edition of the book. So if you have the 14th edition, you already get it. If you don't even care about having a hard copy of the book, I encourage you to just go to the website as I'm going to show you how to do, because you want to do that through the Canvas page. And then just, you can buy something called Cengage Unlimited. That gives you access to an online version of the textbook and the homework. So here's just a grade breakdown. Homework's 30%. Exams, which will be online, are 30%. Project draft and the project are worth 40% total. So recognize that the project is a big part of this class. Um, just a little bit about sustainability and how it's related to this course. And then on the last page, you'll kind of just get a summary of the topics that we're going to be going over. 
and also a summary of the lecture videos that you should watch to keep up with the courses. And I'll show you how to access all these in a second. In terms of making sure like you're on schedule in the course, the best thing to do is just to come to the bottom of the homepage and then we have our course summary here. And this shows every single thing that's happening in this course. So a couple things to notice if you want stuff in your calendar. Homework is always due on Monday. So that should not surprise you throughout the semester. Like homework is always due on Monday, as late as I could modestly make it due on Mondays. So just try to keep that in your mind. If you forget stuff like that, throw it in your calendar or use the Canvas calendar because now that these are assignments, those are all loaded. Um, another thing to point out is I do offer some extra credit in this course. For example, I'll give you an extra credit point for meeting with me. I'd give you one if you meet with me in the first half of the semester, and you just have to set up that meeting on or before June 25th. I'll give you another extra credit point if you meet with me in the second half of the semester, and you just have to do that by Friday, July 30th. Um, there's also some extra credit down here, wheel and regression chapters. That involves reading um, some chapters from another book that are not complicated and just doing a short book report about them, kind of a short summary of what those chapters say. And so I wanted to make you aware of that. But really, as we get rolling in the first half of the semester, the main things you should be thinking about are the first homeworks, which again are due on the Mondays, and then we'll have this first section exam. And so, of course, that exam will be related to those homeworks. And I will also send a practice exam um, a few days before the exam opens to give you an idea of the types of questions you will be answering on that exam. One other thing I'd like to point out in these topics is that a lot of you probably touched on confidence intervals and sampling distributions at the end of your last statistics class. So I hope a lot of this first section is review. If it's not review and you're getting confused about what's going on there, I mean, I make lecture videos and stuff about it, so it's a fine time to learn it now. But I kind of assume that you've seen that stuff before. So if you're getting confused about that at all or have struggling through it, use that as an opportunity to do your first half semester meeting. And again, to get that, you just need to email me and set up a meeting, okay? Next thing is I want to show you how to access the videos and the homework. All of that is going to be in modules right here. And so module one, this is the same schedule that we looked at at the syllabus a second ago. It's all about sampling distributions and confidence intervals. Those are from chapters seven and eight in the textbook. Now, the, you'll see that there's a set of lecture videos. For example, you will find the lecture video that I'm making right now here, but the ones that actually get into the meat are right here. So, for example, there's a lecture video about the logic of sampling distributions there. And that's true of all these different lecture videos. And those should be helpful for these homeworks. Now, in, I mainly have these in terms of organization. All of this homework one Point one link is going to show you is that you have to go to WebAssign to do the homework and these are the homework sets that you need to do when you go to WebAssign. So let's go back out of this. Now when you actually go to do that you just need to go to the very bottom. Again we're on the modules page. At the very bottom you'll see WebAssign. If you click this and then just wait for a second it will open a new website, which is where your WebAssign lives. Now, this is not what this website will look like to you because this is my instructor version of the website. The very first time you do this, it's gonna ask you for an access code or it's gonna ask you to purchase access. You will have free access for a couple weeks, but it will go away eventually. I strongly encourage you to enter WebAssign through the Canvas page because that will automatically enroll you in the correct course. So you don't need like a course code or anything like that. You just need to enter the homework through the Canvas page as I did. So modules, bottom of the page, web, web assign homework. Okay, so 
Again, there will be some more stuff later in the semester. For example, the project and the project draft is like the big change that happens because all of this is going to be homeworks, exam one, homeworks, exam two. And then when we're in the third module, we start getting into what's called regression, which is that really powerful tool I was mentioning at the beginning of this video that will be very helpful in your careers. And you are going to do your project using that tool called regression. And so that project draft is just to have something in your mind. And I have a lecture video explaining the expectations. And also the expectations are explained in the guideline document that you'll find here when you open the homework. Come on, little buddy. Okay, there she is. And now if we scroll down this, so you don't have to worry a ton about this yet, but I just want you to be aware of it. So at the first, at the very beginning, let's just focus on getting rolling, getting into that homework and getting access and just start getting rolling on the homework. Another thing I'd like to mention if we go back to modules is that once we get into the second section, this is one of the main differences where I said I'm assuming this stuff is kind of review, is that these videos are all just about the topics and also about how using Excel for these because that can make your life a lot easier. You will need to use Excel in this class. You can try to avoid it as long as possible, but I promise you that you will eventually need to use Excel. It's better to use it earlier and it's easy or to use it earlier. For example, confidence applications in Excel. Watching that will make some of your homework so much easier than if you try to just do everything on paper. Rounding errors are a big issue that I've seen in the past. So the sooner that you start using Excel, the better. Now, the type of a video that I don't have up here that I will add in the later sections are these homework help videos. And I just kind of pick a few problems from the homework and show you how I would approach those. The reason I'm not doing in the first section is again, because I think that that should be review for most of you. But again, if you're struggling in that first section, just reach out to me, you can get an extra credit point for it. So um, it's nice to meet you guys. I don't know if that's a cool way to say it or not, but I hope to meet you soon at your first half semester meeting feel free to reach out to me at any time with questions. Again, my email is the best way to do that. And I hope to meet you um, in person, but probably over Zoom. And I'm okay with doing either. I could meet you in person if you'd prefer that. And definitely I'll meet you over Zoom as well. Okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to get across in this video. Again, feel free to, to reach out with any issues or anything. Okay, bye-bye.